embarking on a 50-minute uphill journey through winding roads. Spanning 13.5 kilometers from the charming town of Kaza, in the mesmerizing spity valley of Himachal Pradesh, you will arrive at the remarkable fossil village of Langsa. At a towering altitude of around 14,550 above sea level, the mighty snow-capped Trans-Himalayan mountains are all around the village. There are two options of getting to the village of Langsa. The first is to hire a taxi from Kaza. The second option is to take the local government bus from Kaza to Langsa, which runs twice a week on Tuesdays and Saturdays, and departs from Kaza at 2 p.m. It's advisable to recheck the bus schedule a day prior to your journey. This takes around 70 to 90 minutes to reach Hickam and is the most economical way of getting to the village. At the first glance, Travelers will instantly notice a towering Golden Buddha statue, from at least a kilometer away which is believed to be around 1,000 years old. All the houses in the village are built below the statue and are made of mud, and have prayer flags tied around them to signify the strong Buddhist presence. Langsa is also the village where one can spot the coveted Himalayan snow leopard, which is arguably one of the most beautiful animals in the high-altitude Himalayan regions. Other animals such as the Tibetan wolf, Himalayan griffon, have been spotted around the village during the winter months from December to March. The village is one of the highest ones in the world with a motorable road owing to its proximity to Tibet in China. The population of the village is predominantly Buddhist and belongs to the Sakyapa sect of Tibetan Buddhism. The village has a population of approximately 137 people living in 33 houses. The main occupation of the people from the village is animal husbandry and farming, with potato, cabbage and spinach being their main cash crop. Tourism is soon becoming a very viable source of income for the people from the village. Accommodation in Langsa is limited to only very basic homestays, which provide travelers with nothing more than a room with beds, mattresses and blankets. The homestays also provide food which comprises of dal, rice, one vegetable and eggs. It is believed that the village got its name from Lang, which means the village temple. Some people believe that the term Langsa is derived from La, which means a mountain pass and Zar which is derived from Zama pottery, which traditionally was the main occupation of Langsa residents. The best time to visit Langsa is during the summer months from May to September, when the temperature is bearable, and the scarce greenery aids majorly in breathing in the nights.
thick woolens are recommended even in summers, with the night temperature dropping well below 5 degrees centigrade. Although Langsa is accessible throughout the year, during winters the roads leading to the village are generally blocked with heavy snowfall. Winter temperature in Langsa drops to minus 25 degrees centigrade, and the entire village is cut off due to the snow. To reach Langsa during winters, one will have to either hitch a ride to the village or hike up 10 kilometers from Kaza. Langsa is the ideal village to visit and spend a night if not more just doing nothing but soaking in the Spishan life high up in the mighty Himalayas. It's a village meant only for the travelers and not for the tourists.